What's going on, Jerome? So, of course, we Minnesota Fighting Vikings fans know A.A. Ron Rodgers go way back like chiropractic. And, uh, yes, the Vikings play the Jets this year, so it's going to be fun. But, yeah, Rodgers – so, so Rogers just has the, this compulsive need to always be in the headlines. So he loves the drama. He loves the accolades. Like he's a narcissist, maybe a little bit of a sociopath, but also this is coming from a narcissistic sociopath. So I feel like I can call a spade a spade because it's like, oh, Spider-Man pointing me or something like that. But uh, so he signed up with the Jets and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, Vikings play the Jets in London. It's going to be a good time. But you know, last year... So I, I don't harbor any ill will uh, against Rodgers. I just think that he's kind of a toolbox at times. Uh, but when he got hurt, like immediately last year, it's really unfortunate. But I mean, the the Jets. I mean, the Jets can't catch a break, man. I mean, they they haven't had a winning season in like two presidents. It's kind of rough, man. Yeah. Uh, but the whole whole thing about Rodgers, like he he actually was on the sideline. Well, he he made sure that people saw him on the sidelines because it's a double edged sword. Because yes. You know, was he there for his teammates? Yes. Was he trying to cheer them on? Yes. Was he very involved? Sure. But also, he loved the optics of it. Like he he loved every single game telecast for the Jets. It just showed him on the sidelines. The Jets play. Jets were scheduled for you know, a lot of prime times games last year in anticipation of a Ron. Also, same thing this year. But also, he he made sure that that the cameras saw him walking in the locker room too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Long story longer. So, rap sheet. Uh, Jets coach uh, Rob Salah, Rob Salah, running down the wing, uh, told reporters that quarterback uh, Aaron Rodgers is not at minicamp today, an unexcused absence that is subject to fines. Salah said it was for an event, quote, important to him. So, skipping mandatory minicamp for an event that's important to him. Uh, Dan Rossini, uh, this is a choice. This is 100% Aaron, Aaron Rodgers making a choice to not be at a football practice with the New York Jets while the rest of the team is there working. So, I mean, optically, not really a good look, but you know, Sauce Gardner definitely uh, gave some context. Uh, are y'all um, really making a big deal because a 15-plus year Hall of Fame quarterback, alleged Hall of Fame quarterback, missed two days of practice after being with the team all throughout Phase 1, 2, 3 of OTAs? Good games. All right. So, yes. Uh, you know, was Rodgers there during uh, OTAs, You know, the voluntary portion? Yes. But also, I mean, they definitely could have tamped this thing down. And... and Rob Salah saying that this was an unexcused absence and, of course, being a little passive-aggressive, saying that he's he's at an event that's important to him. Obviously, there was a disconnect there between Rodgers and Salah because they're, they they could have definitely just, like, smoothed this over and, and buried it, right? Be, Rodgers be like, hey, you know, before the start of the offseason, he's like, hey, coach, I, ha- I have this. But unfortunately, it's during mandatory minicamp. I will be there, there during every single voluntary OTA. Uh, and as long as we're on the same page, we'll be good to go. Th- that could have been done. That that would have been a 30-second conversation. And I think Rob Salah would have been like, all right, f- get it, right? Uh, but also, well, first off, what special event, like, can you not move it a week? Move it up or, or back for a week? Because remember, like... So the Jets structure, like mandatory minicamp is it. That's at. That's for the last week. It's not like the Vikings were was a mandatory minicamp then another week of OTAs. But, I mean, what, what can't wait a couple of days? Hmm? What, what's so important? Like, uh, is he back in that cave peeing on himself? I don't know, man. I, I don't know. But, again, optically, the Jets have just been so ham-fisted. Of course, they're, they're the Jets, right? But... It's like trading for Hassan Reddick and then surprised when he holds out a mandatory minicamp because he wanted a new deal. Oh, you knew that when you traded for him. D- don't get it. But I, I, I feel like this just shows Rodgers' complete narcissism. He, he, you know that he loves the headlines. And he, you know for a fact that he wanted to be in the headlines this week. And, he, I mean, you guys wish. I mean, all the national programs are talking about it. We're talking about it. And this is a, a quasi-Vikings channel. Well, quasi-Vikings, quasi um I don't, I don't know. This is sort of a hodgepodge channel. But, uh, I, I, again, this could have all been smoothed out. This all could have been just clearly communicated. Or how about Rodgers just moves his, his event a couple of days? It's kind of, kind of ridiculous, man. But, uh, again, when he's on the sidelines last year and all off season, he's been talking big about getting the BS that doesn't have to do about winning out of the building. And Rod, the Jets are going to be a rolling ecological disaster this year. They are like the the whole thing about is too, like they were hyping up Rodgers last year. Rodgers was ass 
thank you, the last couple of years uh, in Green Bay, especially his last season. Like The Packers became a running team with Aaron Jones, mm, uh, the, the best Aaron in that backfield, because Rodgers was limited. And the fact that they're now thinking that this jabroni off of a torn Achilles is magically just going to be uh, the, the Rodgers of old when he allegedly uh, was an MVP candidate ain't going to happen. No, I feel like the Jets are going to fall fat, flat on their face. And the fact that they're in prime time so many damn games is just going to be every single week in prime time. is They're just going to be a punching bag, right? I mean, Salah's defense is going to be fine, but offensively, I think they're going to be limited, and I think it's going to be because of, of Rodgers. And, yeah. So, uh, I, I feel like Rodgers, he doesn't have the talent and the clout to be able to pull pull off this nonsense. Because, again, optically, like, he knew what this was going to look like, and he was okay with it. In fact, he probably loves it because uh, his ears are burning because everyone's talking about him. It's so stupid, man. It just really is. But, uh, again, what would you expect? You know, honestly, what what do you expect? But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Roger skips the Jets' mandatory minicamp to be somewhere else. We know where he is. Mm. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more to work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.